Hello everyone, welcome back. It is blazing sunshine again. I thought about getting out for sunrise this morning, but the forecasted blue skies has put a dampener on that. So I had a bit of a lie in this morning. And again, you know, you've just got to take what you're given. I was thinking about where to come today and with the forecasted clear skies all day, I thought I'll have a little trip back up to Spittle Beach. I didn't do any filming on the first day I came here because I was a little bit on the clock, but I thought I'll come up here for low tide and have a little bit of an explore. Now, this isn't the sort of typical photography I tend to do. I've talked about that a little bit on previous videos, uh, one of the recent ones at uh, Fleswick Bay. But I really do love it. It presents you with a, a totally different set of challenges to shooting sort of mountain vista type photography you know you can come to a place like this and you, you genuinely have no idea what you're going to shoot or in what sort of style whereas the sort of bigger vista stuff it's a lot more predictable you know you tend to sort of go to a place with a, a preconceived idea of how you want the shot to be and then really a lot of the time you're just sort of waiting around for the conditions whereas here it's not quite so based on the conditions it's more just your creativity and your eye so anyway I'm gonna stop waffling on I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a look around here and see what I can find I was I was blown away by the stuff uh, that I that I saw the first day I came whether I've done it justice or not I don't know but uh, yeah I'm gonna have a little explore and see what I can come up with so just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at here and the sort of area I'm working in you can see you really are looking at the landscape in miniature here I mean I've only been sort of exploring this area maybe five or ten minutes and I've, I've come across this little scene here so I mean to give you scale you know we're looking at something on the rock there that's maybe only about a square foot but I was just taken by the way the lights falling on these shapes you know we've got some nice shadows going on there some nice rusty tones and then with that white shell just sort of nicely placed there in the top left of the frame uh, so I'm having a little look at this one I've got the 24 to 200 on and I'm right in close at about 180 millimeters with the polarizer which is helping to bring out some of those colors and tones uh, yeah first one of the day don't know how this is gonna work out but uh, it looks pretty good to my eye so yeah let's see how this one goes So I should probably talk you through a little bit about my sort of process that I'm going through here. I mean, as I mentioned before, I'm not, you know, that familiar with this type of photography, but in terms of composition, I'm really looking for the, the same sort of things I would always look for, sort of repeating patterns, interesting shapes, changes in contrast and colour. And I mean, this place here, you know, you've got that in abundance I mean I've literally covered about 50 yards and you really get the feeling that you could spend all day here I've, I'm acutely aware that this video probably won't be for everyone and uh, most of you have probably switched off by now but uh, but I'm absolutely loving this you know you, you really could spend all day here just examining the landscape in miniature and it's really good to sort of change your approach a little bit and get you looking at the landscape in a different way I mean as I mentioned I don't really do a lot of this stuff but when I do I really enjoy it and you know it's it's liberating sometimes just to not shoot everything at f11 with a wide lens not that I do that all that much myself anyway but uh, but yeah I think this area around here has got a little bit of potential I'm really looking at the lighter coloured rocks. They seem to have a bit more impact than the darker ones. Let's see if we can find something else.
Right, I couldn't find anything there. <laughs> this is going to be an incredibly tedious video. I'm having, you can see how slow I'm having to move through this stuff. It's, it's quite dicey getting across it, but you feel like if you move across it too quick, you might miss something. <laughs> so I'm, I'm having to move very slowly here. This area with the lighter sort of blue rocks looks like it's got a bit, bit of potential. So I'm going to have a little look around here. I think this video is turning into one of those uh, FPV videos, I think, that are all the rage at the minute. <laughs> anyway, crack on. Let's try and find a picture. <laughs> right, I think I found something else here. <laughs> that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, it's hard to really sort of describe these images in the sort of conventional way that you normally would, you know, rock in the foreground, mountain in the middle distance, all that sort of stuff. Really, all I'm looking for with a lot of these uh, intimate landscapes is just things that catch my eye and, and curves and patterns, that sort of stuff. It's, it's very sort of abstract, really. Uh, this one I'm going for, we've got these lovely little sort of swirls that uh, lead you down into almost like a point, and then you can see where the the sort of pebbles have been washed up into the into the cracks in the rocks the trouble with a lot of these shots is they can look a little bit contrived you know you, there's, there's I got a lot of questions on that Flesig Bay video um, asking if I'd placed that rock and I hadn't even though it did look a little bit like that uh, and it's the same here you know you there's, there's a lot of these compositions where the, the pebbles almost look like they've been placed and they haven't it's just the random nature of uh, sort of seascape coastal photography and yeah these ones just seem to fit quite nicely but it's took me an hour to find these so uh, yeah I'll put this one on the screen here let me know what you think in the comments Okay, I think this is going to be the last image of the day because my feet are feeling a little bit. It's ankle break city here, it really is. You can put your foot down a little cleft or something here and easily cause yourself a bit of an injury. So, uh, so yeah, I, this last shot, I'm, I really like the, the way these pebbles are just sitting in a little, a little patch here, almost in a sort of tram line where the rocks have formed and you've got lovely colours and patterns and that sort of stuff going on in this one as well. I'm shooting a portrait to get all of that in. I think with these sort of images you've just got to go with your instincts a little bit. You can't really sort of um, be too bogged down by sort of thirds and golden spirals and all that sort of stuff. You've, you've just got to go with what's sort of catching your eye creatively I think and that's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, just a bit of technical info with some of these images that I'm shooting uh, because we've got depth of field issues a lot of them are focus stacks maybe 10 or 11 images so that's going to give me pin sharpness across the frame and uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty pleased with where some of these are looking in the back of the camera certainly uh, looking forward to processing these I'm not gonna shoot sunset tonight because it's looking like blue skies uh, again and it, it can be a bit frustrating that to be honest I've got some really good work done here and even though this type of photography perhaps isn't for everyone, uh, I've, I've been in my element. I've had a, a whale of a time this morning, so it's been really good. Uh, this evening, Liverpool are playing Real Madrid, so nothing gets in, uh, gets in my way for a Liverpool game. So I'll be watching that anyway. So I'm going to finish this one up here. I'll post this image up at the end. Hopefully you like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, keep liking, subscribing, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.